So I'm gonna be talking to you about a six month check-in with self-discipline. Nothing changes if nothing changes, guys. Let that sink in. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Point blank period. Slippery, 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 slippery slope that you don't wanna be doing. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin. If you haven't met me before, thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you subscribed. I wanted to make today's video a little sit down video and talk about a six month check-in. So you might be like, what is she talking about? Six month check-in compared to what? So I would say most of us create intentions, resolutions around New Year's, right? It is August, which is a six month check-in on kind of like your yearly goals, a way to reevaluate and regroup and redirect all of your goals. That's what I'm here for. So if you've been slacking, this is your sign to get off your tush and get to step in, okay? And your girl may have struggled a little bit with some self-discipline and might be a little bit hungover today. That's me. I'm just like slightly dizzy. That's on that. This is exactly why we're doing a six month check-in, guys. So I'm here to ask you if you have reached your goals and kind of go through some of the goals that I set for myself. So what I like to do is around Christmas time and New Year's time, I like to write in my phone the goals that I want to achieve. And then I want to like kind of create systems to get there. I'm not the type to like write down the goal and like keep track every month, every day. I'm just not really into that. I'm into kind of checking yourself and creating positive, healthy steps. I have stuff in my phone that I wrote down six months ago that I don't remember exactly what I wrote. I know some of them obviously like I remember I wanted to read more books. Depending on your mindset and like where you're at in life I don't think you need to be like hounding yourself on these goals and making yourself feel like a piece of shit if you don't achieve it. You can do like a large scale and then kind of narrow it down over time. So like what I did were these broad goals and then over time naturally depending on where I'm living and what I'm doing, what job I'm doing, how school's going, then I kind of narrow it down based to like my life right now. So I really also wanted to have this round table discussion about some of the things that I've came across recently. So I've always been a very positive thinker, but also like a little bit of pessimism will like slip in and I have a lot of overthinking. I don't have like a ton of anxious thoughts usually. I don't suffer too much from anxiety, but it definitely does happen. And those are the things that I kind of wanted to talk about. I've had a few realizations recently about life and just how to make it fucking easier because <laughs> everyone struggles. Here we go. So I'm kind of just going to talk about keeping yourself in check with the six month check because it's August in honor of August we're gonna have positive thinking moving forward and hopefully everyone can reach their goals because all the New Year's resolutions that you made you can make starting now like you still have six months and even then a date is just a date like you could finish all these goals tomorrow probably you can just start infusing them into your life and just repeating them with consistency so I'm gonna be talking to you about a six month check-in with self-discipline nothing changes if nothing changes guys let that sink in. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Point blank period. That's just kind of the basics. If you don't know that concept, you're probably not gonna reach a lot of your goals. Controlling positive thinking rather than negative thinking. There's so many ways that we slip into self-improvement and honestly, in my opinion, a negative mindset where you're pulling from lack and criticism rather than what you can infuse into your life and implement into your life that's positive, a healthy way of viewing yourself and others. Control. We're gonna talk a little bit about control and what is actually in our control and how to really understand that things just really are in your control sometimes. If it's not, you don't need to be thinking about it 24 seven like someone. I like to think that I can control everything and think about it only when I go to sleep and only when I wake up. Perfect, right? You wanna end the day and start the day with anxiety and stress? No, thank you. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And all these things, if you can't just let go, then it probably isn't meant for you. Okay, so I haven't read any of these I'm gonna go through my phone like they're down there. I haven't clicked on them because I want it to be like a surprise and see if I held true to, you know, those things. And some people might think it differently. They want like clear cut goals. I've done that too, but this is kind of what works for me. I've been doing this since 2019. So I can look back and see three years ago, like kind of my ideal self and if I achieved it or not. Organically and naturally, not forcefully. So that's why I like to kind of do it and then forget about it and then reset, readdress, see what even I value at that point in time. It's funny because whenever I was like 18, I value different things than I do when I'm 20. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Like it's not just go to the gym. It's like making sure I'm not gossiping about my friends. That is some self-awareness guys because that is a toxic thing that people do. It might not be like gossiping but just even like speaking negatively when someone's not in the room just isn't healthy for anyone and you might be like I would tell it to their face but really it's just not good just not good <laughs> so those kinds of things i and i'm not like this massive shit talker or anything but i definitely know some people who are so i kind of wanted to make sure that i don't do that anymore because my ideal self is not that and i do not want to ever be like that yeah no okay so these are some of my goals i want you guys to check in with me live somewhere out of the comfort zone become friends with new people apply to jobs see what's out there go to the gym play more tennis drink only socially and dates that's a good one that is a good one 
I honestly struggled with this in 2023, but I did way better than 2022 when I was in college. Now I really try to drink like if it's a date night kind of thing, like some red wine or socially, not like a drink every time I eat dinner. That is something like a slippery, 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 slippery slope that you don't want to be doing. <laughs> Excel in my current job, focus on my classes. Ooh, sorry, Caitlin, you still not focusing well on classes. I thought that I still wanted to do school and then I realized slowly a year into my MBA program that I fucking hate school and you don't even need a degree. But I'm already halfway there, might as well finish it. But in some ways you do need a degree. So I'm still like proud of myself. It's just like I have that constant battle of like, was this really worth $40,000? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> However, maybe long term it will be. I don't know. You know, at least I tried. Effective time management. I've gotten really, really good at this. I balance so many things. I do YouTube, tennis, full-time working, uh, oh, full-time school. <laughs> See, I don't even remember school. It's literally like the back of my head. And I talk to my mom on the phone. I try to catch up with my family members as much as possible. So I make use of my time. Good job. Learn new recipes, try yoga, try Pilates. I did that. Save 30% of my income. Mm, I don't know if I did 30%, probably not. Have a certain amount in my bank account by May. I did that. Oh my God, that's actually so exciting. Can't believe I did that. Wow, go me. Less reactive to things and you choose your reaction. Start my own business, YouTube or social media. Oh my God, that's so exciting. I hadn't really started posting videos again until in, like until 2023. I, I did it slowly, but I didn't start doing it consistently and you guys are watching it now and I finally did it. Okay, and there's a lot more. This is kind of just what I mean by a check-in. You can check in and really treat yourself well. And if you haven't accomplished some of these goals, it kind of puts in perspective your old self set this. So you owe it to yourself to try to complete it or at least take a few steps in the right direction, right? Because your past self literally said these things. So now at the end of the year, six months from now, I literally have a video that I'm putting on the internet to keep myself in check, girl. So I recommend that you guys do this. Write it down. Don't keep everything just in your brain, you know? You're just gonna get stressed. You're gonna overthink think it you're gonna remember things and it's just gonna kind of make yourself feel almost like guilty and confused and stressed and we don't like stress if we could delete stress from the world i think it would be like we would just live in bliss absolute bliss fucking bliss okay okay so going off kind of like a little check-in for yourself now i want to talk about controlling positive and negative thinking a lot of people say that the first step is eliminating things out of your life i absolutely agree like if you smoke and drink that's probably the first step is to remove those things right but instead of beating yourself up always thinking about all these things you can eliminate you're kind of coming from a lack mindset and a controlling like mean mindset towards yourself i heard something in a podcast caitlin nolan she probably doesn't know i exist Actually, she liked one of my videos, so she knows I exist. Anyways, love you. If you ever watch this, I love you. Ah, that'd be crazy if she saw this. So she mentioned that you don't need to come at yourself and at your life. Like, these are all the things I need to remove. Why don't you take a step back and just think about all these things you want to add, like in a positive way. And then naturally, organically, those things by default will start getting removed. If you start beating yourself up like, oh, I'm so tired of sitting on the couch eating these bag of chips. Literally, I've been there, done that. I could be like a, a Lay's rep. You want to sponsor me, Lay's? I will be your ambassador. Just kidding. All jokes aside, instead of saying that you want to sit on like you don't want to sit on the couch anymore, and you know you're beating yourself up like I've been eating bad, da, 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 why don't you just infuse more positive things? Just you can think more about how you want to go to the gym. You can think more about how you want to try Pilates. You can think more about how you want to be a runner. And then naturally, you're going to probably stay away from the chips or at least stay away from the couch. And then when you do have those things because you're creating these positive habits in your life, by default, those things will probably slowly drift away. If you're always exercising, you don't have time to drink or smoke, you know? That's kind of the thing. Rather than beating yourself up, unless you need to, obviously, if you're abusing these things or consuming them too much or it's really deteriorating your health then sure like you know remove some things but you can look at it a little bit better and what can replace those things if you're always eating donuts for breakfast you can just start thinking like oh my gosh i would love acai bowls and bagels so then your brain is like oh i want this thing not i have to remove this i have to remove this i have to remove this that's whenever you can get triggered for like binge eating and you know just kind of like overthinking and obsession around food and that is the same thing for like body image in the gym if you're always beating yourself up on the way you look why don't you just think, if you always wanted to be bigger and stronger, but all you do is Pilates, or all you do is run, or you do nothing, <laughs> why don't you just think about how fun it would be to start lifting a little bit? And then naturally, your muscles are going to grow because you started doing something positive, and you're doing something happy for yourself that you set, rather than 
oh my god i never do this i never do this i never do this um, i'm never gonna be big i hate my life i hate the way i look whatever it may be replace it with healthy options and by default you're organically naturally getting to the goals that you wanted anyways and that's exactly what i do in my six month kind of check-in and yearly check-in is i'm naturally steering towards these things and these goals i'm not hating on myself 24 7 creating a list of stressors although i've done that too I've literally sat down on a journal and thought about my energy takers and then my energy givers and how I can transform them. But sometimes you're not in the mental state to really be doing that. Sometimes you're not in the mental state of constantly making a checklist of the bad shit you do because then you're going to have a list of 20 things. Even now, I've infused, I've created such a well-rounded, more positive than the past lifestyle, which is crazy because I've always struggled with just kind of like weird obsessions and stressful controlling weird mindsets about exercise food people overthinking friendships relationships life myself body image whatever not like insanely but it's definitely those topics the topics i just named definitely one of them will come into my mind every single day of my life which i think everyone does but mine definitely wasn't a healthy relationship if we're being honest so yeah <laughs> we can go there another time Okay, so another thing with those things to set your goals is self-discipline. So Ed Milet actually talks about this and then Ava Jules kind of re-talked about it, about him talking about it. And self-discipline is so important. You need to have self-discipline. And the way you can do this is start small. Take one step of, and of achieving a goal that you set. If you want to go to the gym, get a gym membership and show up once. You're already showing up for yourself and you need to set goals and keep them to yourself. So it's okay. You don't need to beat yourself up if you don't. You can always just rebound. But that's how you build self-confidence is creating goals for yourself and staying true to yourself. If you're always creating these goals about how you want to do things and then you don't do them, you don't trust yourself. And that's something that I struggled with for years. I've always been someone that's like, okay, yeah, I'll start this little diet or i i'm gonna lose this amount of weight by blah 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 and they weren't like mean or harsh it's like lose 10 pounds in a year you know something easy but it's like duh i'm not gonna achieve that duh whenever you keep goals to yourself you build that self-confidence so currently i've been doing this little workout thing and i actually have committed to myself i'm not gonna set goals and then always break them to myself how do you build like self-love self-trust self-confidence Definitely not by breaking every single goal you ever set. At that point, you're just wasting your time and it's unhealthy and you don't even trust yourself. And you need to love yourself and trust yourself in order to feel confident and then be happy and show up for others. And that, my friends, I have not learned until 23. And I'm 23 right now. I have never grasped that concept. I never had true self-confidence when it came to like... Oh yeah, I can actually like do that shit. Like I might be able to do something in school, do something in tennis, but I had horrible self-discipline. I would just kind of go with the flow, ebb and flow. Like I would be really, really good this day, work out a ton, and then like the laziest piece of you could ever be. And that's fine. Like balance, life is a balance. Life is fun. That's totally fine too. But those were the goals that I set for myself and I was always breaking them, always fucking breaking them. Even things like make my bed every day. I used to be like, nah, 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 that's fine. But now I do that shit every day because I know that I want to do it and I owe it to myself and I have self-confidence from making my fucking bed. Not a big deal. And it's just helped me so much. Like whenever I go to the gym, I always wear workout clothes to work on purpose. And then I literally drive home past the gym and I go straight to the gym every time. Even if I don't want to, it's just like I naturally just like physically like that's where i go it's routine i never 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 come home without going to the gym now and i like used to dream about being a girl that went to the gym like i just felt like i didn't have it in me i didn't know what to do i was intimidated and that's a perfect example like i literally have self-confidence and self-discipline with myself and i know that i can achieve other goals that are harder like actually losing weight or achieving a physique Something like that I could actually do because I finally actually went to the fucking gym. But I know that I do it when I want to now. Period. And if I miss one day, I know that I have it in me. I'm not going to just be like, oh, I missed it. What's the point? Kind of like self-sabotage. This shit is applicable to your life, I promise. Like literally no matter who you are. This isn't just like life is all sunshine and rainbows. This is very like raw. Like shit fucking happens. People have so many issues. You just gotta be honest with yourself and realize why have I never owned up to the goals that I set for myself. It's probably because you don't have self-discipline or you don't have self-confidence or you're coming from a mindset of neg negativity and lack. Maybe make it more positive towards a healthy direction. Because now, I'm not just beating myself up for being obsessed with lace chips. I actually look forward to getting nutrients in my body and then if I eat a donut, it literally doesn't affect me. Like, it literally doesn't affect me because I go to the gym every day now.
that is another really awesome thing to talk about is care about how you feel not how you look i don't even need to talk about this but everybody needs to hear it how do you feel not how do you look nobody Nobody fucking cares how you look. In 10 years, you're not even gonna know half the people that see you right now. Whatever, I don't care if so-and-so down the block thinks I'm hot or thinks I'm pretty. I don't even fucking know you and I'm probably not gonna know you in 10 years. And, but you still wanna be healthy or whatever. But I don't need to constantly be obsessing and walking into a room thinking about what other people are looking at at you. Cause odds are, they're thinking about what you think about them. Nobody really cares that much about you. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> you're really not that special. And to the point where if you go to a party, 20 people are thinking about how you look. You're probably both having a conversation where you're both thinking about what the other person thinking about you and then you're both thinking about it themselves so you're not even thinking about what you're worried about it's a waste of fucking time the last thing i wanted to talk about is control and what we can control so i feel like this is a commonly talked about topic is control like don't worry about things that you can't control yeah sure but easier said than done bitch <laughs> that's how i feel it's like oh don't worry about it it's not your control what the fuck does that mean like some things are in my control okay so you're like come on i don't know how to actually put that into action of course i'm gonna i think things are in my control because some of it is like I control if I go to the gym. I control if I put makeup on. Guys, like stop worrying about things that are out of your control. If you're putting in effort, you're putting in effort. There's so many things that you're putting in your effort. You know that you did it. You put your best foot forward. That is actually all that matters. It is all that fucking matters. If you can control more, if you have kids, have those obligations, then sure, maybe there's a few more other little things you can try and control. We cannot control what other people do, how other people respond. A good example is literally y'all watching this video. I think I'm putting good content out there. I might have 10 people watch this bitch i cannot control if y'all click on this video i can try to make it cool i can try to make it cute i can try to make the thumbnail cute i can try to be prettier better smarter funnier whatever but i don't really care like if i like it i like it. i can't control if y'all click on this video i can't control if youtube even puts it out there i can't control if it gets deleted i can't control if someone doesn't like it i can't control if someone reports it but i'm putting what my authentic self out there if you want to receive it cool if you don't, I'll try again. <laughs> like, that's what's in my control. I cannot control if you do this. You cannot control if your friend is going to answer your text. You can't control that guy you're texting is going to respond. Just be yourself. Be your authentic self. Do what you think is right. And they get that opportunity to respond. You can't control if you're fighting with a friend. You can't control if you're fighting with a parent. And they're not answering. If you reached out, you did this, it's up to them to respond. You can't control what other people think. You don't even know what they're thinking. You don't even know if they're busy. What if you sent that text while they're at work? What if you sent that text while they're in the middle of a fight with their significant other? What if you sent that text? They just stub their toe they might be pissed <laughs> if you're fighting with a sibling control you cannot control how they're going to respond it is what it is like you put your best foot forward you put your action out there you put your authentic self out there they get to choose how to respond and that's a fucking fact no need to overthink getting the job you want making the amount of money you want there's only a certain extent of that you can control if you're in a shitty ass job quit that's in your control what's not in your control is just hoping someone's gonna drop down some money for you hoping you're just gonna get a raise magically no what you can control is your hard work what you can control is are you applying the job are you editing your resume you can't control what others think all you can control is how you are representing yourself if they view that as bad that's fine they're probably jealous they're probably not even thinking about you they're probably a bitch they're probably unhappy you cannot control if that person doesn't like you you can control if you're being a bitch and that's why they don't like you but we don't need to worry about it. we don't need to be pleasing everybody and that's how you reach your goals that's how you have awareness of yourself and grow in a positive direction you can only control what is in your control and after that you just have to chill you just gotta let it go if i'm being sweet and i'm nice and i know that i'm being authentic that's all that i need to do and at the end of the day, I want all of you guys, anyone out there, even if literally 10 people watch this video, I'm sure not that many people are going to watch it. <laughs> That's just the life of a saturated market. Things are not in our control. We don't need to be worrying about it. And you need to be self-aware and check in with yourself. All those goals that I mentioned at the beginning, that's how you become your authentic self and trust yourself and have self-confidence and change the things that you want to change. And from there, it's up to you how you want to receive it. So I'm sitting here explaining kind of what it's like to be an authentic person and being vulnerable and it's up to you guys if you want to subscribe to my channel if you want to like this video if you even want to click on it and if you did click on it i feel like we got a connection <laughs> If you clicked on this video, the whole point of it is to kind of have like a digital diary for myself and then have a real life example of how things aren't in our control. I think this is a great video. I think we said some good things, golden nuggets. And from here, it's up to you guys. If it's going to blow up, if people are going to view it, if it's going to even reach anyone. But as long as I feel good about myself and I feel happy, I put out something good in the world. As long as one person views this and you took something from this video, I succeeded. I don't have to make a million dollars from this video. It's a hobby. It's fun. And I'm my authentic self. And I believe that that's that will pay off so next time 
You guys have some time to think about these things. Write it down. Make a six month checklist. Make a year checklist and check in every three months, every quarter, every six months. And organically in infuse and implement these things into your life. You don't gotta force shit. You don't gotta make yourself feel like a piece of shit because you go drinking with your buddies all the time. You don't need to care if people are judging you because you're doing what you like to do and what feels right. And if they want to judge you, if you're gonna overthink things, it's not in your control and you need to let it go and focus on yourself and be authentic and that's all that matters and in my opinion that's when you find true happiness and self-awareness let go of your past mistakes that others have made and that's my august six month check-in i hope this receives to at least one person out there if it does you're super cool comment something i would love to know if anyone other than my friends watch these videos <laughs> that would be cool bye guys i hope that you guys have a good rest of your year and you have a whole nother six months to achieve all those goals guys you got it keep it up See you in 2024. Bye, guys.